From previous studies, we know that patients admitted for COAD suspensions with decompensated respiratory acidosis have poor prognosis. However, there has been no study to investigate on patients with compensated respiratory acidosis, which is a common and often neglected arterial blood gas finding. We are curious how the prognosis is when compared to with CO2 level that's normal and those with decompensated respiratory acidosis. We hope that you will be interested in and will enjoy reading our study. To our knowledge, this is the first study to compare base nephritis and outcomes between normal CO2 level, compensated respiratory acidosis, and decompensated respiratory acidosis. Thank you. We know that patients admitted for COPD exacerbation with decompensated respiratory acidosis have poor prognosis, but the outcome of compensated respiratory acidosis is not well investigated. We performed a one-year cohort study in a single center in Hong Kong, recruiting 250 patients with COPD exacerbations. We had three objectives. First, we compared baseline factors between three groups, namely normal capnia, compensated respiratory acidosis and decompensated respiratory acidosis in patients with COPD exacerbation. Second, we performed a one-year cohort study. We compared between three groups, the survival, time to readmissions, and time to life-threatening events which are defined as death or decompensated respiratory acidosis and death. Third, we explored predictive factors for life-threatening event in our cohort. We compared the baseline characteristics between these three groups of patients and found that patients with compensated respiratory acidosis and decompensated respiratory acidosis have poorer lung function, higher Bode index, and have a higher rate of long-acting bronchodilator and oxygen use when compared with patients with normal CO2 levels. However, there is no significant difference in lung function or Bode index between patients with compensated respiratory acidosis and decompensated respiratory acidosis. In the survival analysis, comparing the patients with normal CO2 levels, patients with compensated respiratory acidosis and decompensated respiratory acidosis had shorter time to life-threatening events. There was no difference in terms of time to life-threatening events or death between compensated and decompensated respiratory acidosis. We also identified the CO2 level and previous use of non-invasive ventilation in acute settings as the two predictive factors for life-threatening events in this study. We hope that this cohort may raise an alert that compensated respiratory acidosis in patients with COPD exacerbations is not just a common finding, but it also carries higher risk for future life-threatening events. It warrants attention and optimization of medical therapy. Thank you very much.